Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, tonight, I'm going to be doing a little unboxing video for you. Hopefully this is the Broken Dreamcast that I've ordered. So that'll be on my next video for repair and basically I'm going to mod it as well if I can. So look forward to doing that for you. Um, I think this will be my Japanese Dreamcast. I waited quite a while for this. I thought I wasn't going to get it, but um, hopefully it's this. I'll be gutted if it's not like, but hopefully. Right, so, um, now I just open it here. I've been, I've been dying to play this. Um, I've also got a step down converter for it as well. So, I'll hook it up at the weekend and stuff like that. Um, I've also been buying little bits and bobs for the mod for the, the Broken Dreamcast. Even if I can't get it working, I'm still going to mod it. You know, so it's still there. Um, I've actually modded my Mega Drive, so that was quite successful. I should have done a video of it, but it was basically, you know, I sort of used it as a trial and error sort of thing. That it was successful, so... I will post a video of that, the the Mega Drive modded for you. Um, yes, it, it does look like it's the Japanese Dreamcast. Yes, get in there. Yes, yes. I'm so happy I've got this now. Really happy I've got this. Um, yeah, I've also bought myself a new, what do you call it, camera stand as well, so hopefully my videos will be a bit better, because uh, I had it on the, the gimbal and it just kept falling and the amount of times, you know, I was just get, getting a bit fed up with it, but yeah, so here we go. Oh, it's been like nearly over two weeks I've waited for this. And I, I thought the seller was just like having me on because he said they dispatched it and then in a the message they, they said it got left at the laundrette and it was waiting for, you know, Herms to pick it up and then I'm like no but on this box it says next day so I th I, my honest opinion is um, I got it for £85 and I think... I kind of, I don't want to be too judgmental, but I kind of think that the seller thought, hang on a minute, that's, that's a bit cheap for that, and I think they were trying to back away from the sale sort of thing. But yeah, I, I just messaged them, and it just says, oh, can you tell me when I'm going to get this, because I bought all kind of games for it, and I bought, down, I bought a step converter for it as well, so I got it today. Um, never ever had a Japanese Dreamcast before. Had, uh, had an American one, an NTSCU one, but yeah, this is this is a real treat for me. This is an absolute real treat for me. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. The uh, packaging's really weird. It's different. So um, we've got a Dream Passport. I take it that's just the same as the. Uh, the Dream Arena that we got here in the UK, so this is still sealed. Oh um, yeah, that's good. So um, that's that, and I take it this is like the yeah, this looks like the user guide and stuff like that. I don't think that's been opened. No, they've not been opened. Look, you can just tell with the age of the seller tape that's on it. That's never been opened, that. So I think, I'm not going to open it, guys. I'm just going to keep that the way it is. Um, this has, this looks like it's been... I don't think it has, actually. No, that's the same. This, these haven't been opened. That's a bonus, that. Absolute bonus to this. This makes me really, really excited for the condition of the console now. Right, so... Here is the console. 
So we'll do this together guys, hopefully, hopefully it is in good nick. Yeah, that's a good nick console that. Yeah, I'm happy, really happy at that. Nice and clean inside as well. Lovely and clean. Yeah, the the actual lighting in the room doesn't do it justice, you know. Um, I am working on better lighting for my videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it's in good condition. I can't moan at that. Let's have a look at the. I always check these bits. Always. Always check them. Yeah, it's nice that. Yeah, it's not it's not been opened as well. Um, I did say. In my previous video, you know, when I was saying to people, you know, if you're after a new Dreamcast console, what to look at, look out for as well. A little another telltale sign if it's been opened as well is this screw here. You know, because the screws are coated in black paint, and usually when you're opening these, the paint scrapes off the, the screw, so you, it's a good indicator that it's been tampered with. But this looks, this looks fine. I'm looking into the holes as well. You know, it's, it's never been, it doesn't look like it's been opened. You know, slight little scratch here on the feet, but I can't moan, guys, honestly. I've been looking forward to getting this, you know. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, so we'll have a look at the contents. Right, so this is the power cable. This is so weird. It's so weird having one of these, you know, in hand. I've never had any, anything like this before. You know, Japanese plug. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, there we go, and that's just... Uh, there we go, it's just the connect. That's just the cables. There you go. Um, so, up next, I take it... Box is weird for this. Really weird. Right, so. Oh, I've just noticed that on the Dreamcast as well. This bit here. This is totally different. I like that. It's sort of like a. It's like a mirror effect, sort of like. Plastic bit on that. That's cool. Yeah, so that's good. That's one way you can tell if it's a Japanese Dreamcast, if it's got that. And obviously at the back. Yeah, NTSCJ. Um, so AC 100, 100 volts. So I'm ho I've heard that it's either on the PSU inside it's 100 to 120. So I got a step down converter that's 110. So I should be fine with that. Um, as I said in my other video, I'm not going to be taking out PSUs and stuff like that and swapping it with our ones. Do you know what I mean? I don't really, I don't need to open it. Do you know what I mean? I really don't. I will be going over it, you know, with some IPA and stuff like that. You know, give it a good clean. But it's not dirty. Um, it doesn't look yellow. It's just the lighting in here, you know, that makes it look like a different colour. But it's it's near perfect, you know. I'm really, really chuffed, guys. I'm so happy I've got that. Then, I take it this is the controller. Right. Oh, nice. My first Japanese Dreamcast controller. Yeah, minty, 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 guys. Nice color. Yes, and that's a score. Absolute buzzing for this bike, guys. Absolutely buzzing. This controller feels fresh. The buttons feel like it just feels like it's not been used. To be open honest with you, the wire is like, you know, like when you get a used Dreamcast controller, it's usually like, it usually dies to a dung, a dull grey, you know. So yeah, this is fresh and clean. Yes, lovely. Right, so we'll back this back this bad boy back up, and we'll move on to the used. I think it is this. I'm hoping it is because I have kept this in the box waiting for this video because I was just going to do the both, you know, into one video. So, yeah, so that, if I'm right, that went in there. Yeah, 
the excitement gets me sometimes, you know, and I'm like, oh, how did I pack that? Where did I put that? Oh, that was in there. That was in there. I, I love it when they, they provide all the baddies and stuff like that. I just, it, it's really good, you know. It's it's really good when you get all that, guys. You know, it makes, it makes the collecting, you know, a better experience, you know, when you get, when you get a good buy, you know, and the person's kept all the baggies, all the documentation, you know, it just makes it, it just makes it brilliant, you know. So we'll put that back in there, let's see, that was like that, so, and then, yeah, it's just the same as the UK one, you get that top cover, and then your manuals, and I, I, I can't believe they've, They've never been opened. That's brilliant. I mean, saying that, why would you want to open them They're all in Japanese? So, yeah. So, you'll probably be saying, why have you bought, like, a, a Japanese Dreamcast? Why can't you just buy a new, like, you know, BIOS chip for your Dreamcast? I don't, personally, guys, I don't believe in doing all that. Um, because... It's just the way that I am. I, when I was younger, I had a chip PS1, and I used to get like copied games, you know, like. But some of the copied games would be like, you know, the the movie sequences would just be skipping all over the place and that. And I'm like, nah, I'm not into that. I like I like original stuff. I've always been like that. So what we'll do is we'll open this one next. I'm hoping this this is the damaged Dreamcast. Um, I'm hoping it is. It should be. If it's not, then I've kept it for a week. Right, uh, how do I don't open this? Let's have a look. Right, this. Let's have a look. Uh, right. See how that? Usually boxes like this I, I, I try to keep, but if I can't, then I can't. Okay. Looks like it's one of them flat ones. I think. I hope so. Yeah. Okay, it's a flat box, so. Nope, I'm cutting through the flat now. Am I? <sighs> yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, that stinks. Oh, it's stinking. Oh, that stinks. It, it smells mouldy. Eee. I think I should have got some gloves on for this. Um, That stinks. It smells like it's been... Oh, that stinks. It really smells, guy. Oh. Wow. That smells mouldy. Jesus. Um. So, mm, quite. Uh, it stinks. It smells like it's been left out or something. If you know what I mean, or stored away in a, a garage. It just smells. It smells mouldy. You know the smell of mould. So as you can see, it's got a few marks on it. Um. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I can tell. Look, if you can see through there, see all there? That's a good indication that it's been left in moistness. It's been left in moist anyway. Either in a garage or in a, in a loft or something. But as you can see, it is, it is quite marked up. There is a few marks on that. So I will be working on this. So the fault with this, guys, is... Seemingly the seller took it to CX and see that stinks even <laughs> sorry even when you open the lid it stinks Oh I'm gonna be sanitizing my hands anyway. It just feels grubby and stuff like that Um, Yeah, he, sorry. Um, he took it to CX and seemingly CX said it's not reading this so they refused to buy it from him So I offered them 25 pound for it, which I don't think so 
too bad a deal, you know, because I did have a Dreamcast, you know, when I had my collection back in the day, and that struggled to look after, that struggled to read this, sorry, and there was an easy fix to it, it was adjusting the laser screw, you know, just underneath the laser, but obviously that, that's only a short term fix, so hopefully, yeah, that's definitely, you see, you see that, look, look at all that corrosion. Yeah, that's, mmm, it's not looking good, but it powers on, it's just not reading discs. So, I mean, that's fine. Well, I'm saying that, but I need to plug it in. He's not gave me any plugs or anything to test it, but this is the console that I'm going to be working on in my, my next videos, guys. It's not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do to it, but um, it's going to be getting a good clean-up and stuff like that, and if it's successful, I will be keeping it as my main console, I think. You know, so, happy days. Um, I have got one Dreamcast up there that I do play, but it's it's from like a, a really really mint condition, like packaging one and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, uh, I'm not saying that I'm scared to use it. I just like I just want to preserve it the best I can. I might actually display it with all my Dreamcast stuff and just have this one if I get it working as my console to play games on. So yeah, um. So, up next, I uh, have a little treat for you. I've actually been looking into some Mega Drive games. And I think this is... I'm not I'm not going to go OTT with them. Um, there's a few that I want. Because um, I bought a Mega Drive, when was it? I think it was a couple of years ago, yeah. Off my friend. And I asked him if he had, like... You know, certain games didn't have them in the pile. Oh, that's nasty, that. That's like carpet. Eee. Uh, uh, that's going right in there. Yeah. Just made a mess everywhere. Right, so I've got Pac-Mania. So, I've got that one for £10, which is not too bad. You know. Just a few games that I'm after, um, like Streets of Rage 1 and 2. Um what is it? There's, I uh, can't remember it now. There was one, I've ordered it and I can't remember it, how silly is that? Um, I ordered um, another one called Dynamite Heady, so I remember playing that when I first had the Mega Drive and I loved the game. It was a good, nice little platformer. So let's see what this one is. I actually done my first repair on a cartridge, guys. So I might actually show you that in this video. Um, one of the games that my friend sold me, and um, it wouldn't work. You know, I tried everything with it, cleaning the pins and stuff with IPA, and I couldn't get it to work. So, oh. All right, okay, so what's this one? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got this one as well. This one cost me 11, which I don't think was too bad. So I've got Bubsy. Never played this one, so... In the closet. Not, I just want to get a few platformers. There's um, Donald Duck Quack Attack. I want to get that one. Um, this is nice. It's in good condition, that. Yeah, little break. I'm not. I'm not too bothered about. I'm not going all out on the Mega Drive games, guys, like I did with the Dreamcast. You know, there's just. Um, I've got about 40, 40 Mega Drive games. You know, I'm. I'm not after a big amount. You know, there's only a few games that I'm after. So yeah. So that that's my pickups, guys. Um. Yeah. So. I'll actually show you what I done to the cartridge that needed repairing. If I can find it, just give me a sec, guys. Alright, so, sorry about that, guys. So this one, this wouldn't read at all. It was just a black screen. So, I tested all the pins in it. Um, and I couldn't get it to work. You know, so, 
what I've done is here because I didn't have like a a bit screwdriver I was getting tweezers and trying to open up the screw so I bought this game just to replace the back if you know what I mean I'm not interested in this game I plugged it in yesterday and I was like oh wow terrible terrible so I'll just re be replacing the back on it so I'll show you what I've done so these come today as well so I'm glad I've got these so I actually should have done a, a repair video, but as I said, guys, there's only so much time that I have, you know. I will post as many videos that, as I can. Okay. Right, so in here. So there's the actual PCB, and there's the ROM. So I tested all these, you know, they were all fine. Then I went along each pin, you know, and then all that I needed to do was put two resistors so I had one from here going down to there and then I had this one going to ground and the cartridge worked so easy fix so don't chuck out your cartridges if they're just a black screen you know use a multimeter and test them there's um, there's videos on YouTube you know how to test each pin and stuff like that your negatives and your positives just test them and that was that's it it's working works fine not had any crashes on it or anything so yep right anyway guys it's quite late so i'm gonna cut off and tidy all this rubbish up and then in my next video we will together we'll be working on this streamcast you know to see if it works and then i'm gonna mod it for you and then see what you think at the end all right guys hope you hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe take care